Welcome back again. You'll notice that this circuit is exactly the same circuit we've been using for the previous three videos, so nothing new there. Um, on this video, we are going to cover changed values in a series circuit. Um, as our example, we are going to change the value of R1 from 2K to 4K. So R1 has increased out of tolerance to 4K ohms. It's no surprise with a change in resistance that we will have to redo our measurements before our total resistance for the circuit was 6K ohms. And now with the change of R1 to 4K, we now have 8K ohms when we add all three resistive values together. This of course is an increase in resistance. Since we see an increase in resistance, we are of course expecting to see differences in our current. So where before we had 2 milliamps of current, now we have a value of 1.5 milliamps per, per current, which is 12 volts, our applied voltage, divided by our new resistive value of 8K ohms. So you can see that current is decreasing. So now that we've looked at the big numbers, we'll look at what all of our individual resistors are doing as far as voltage drops. So R1 is first. Um, R1 is an interesting example because uh, the resistive value of R1 has increased quite a bit and the current, the total current, has decreased. And so um, this one, it's very helpful to do the math because it's a little harder to see if you're looking at um, arrow theory logic and we'll talk a little bit about that in a minute. So the original value of R1 was 4K, which is the original resistance multiplied by total current. And, of course, that has changed. Now our new resistive value of 4K ohms multiplied by 1.5 milliamps gives us a new voltage of 6 volts. So we see that the voltage drop of R1 has increased along with its resistive value. Now the voltage drops of R2 and R3 we are actually going to see decrease. And the reason for that is because their resistive values have not changed, but current has decreased. And again, that goes along with arrow theory logic, which we are going to talk about in another video. So if I have a, I had the original voltage of 6 volts on R2, and then that has changed because we have a new current. So I take my original resistance of 3K ohms, multiply it by 1.5 milliamps, and now I have a voltage drop of 4.5 volts, which is a decrease. Uh, similarly, in R3, we see our original voltage of 2 volts has changed. It is now 1.5 volts, which is 1K ohms multiplied by 1.5 milliamps. And so we see as a general picture, uh, when we have an increase in resistance in our series circuit, we see a decrease in current, we see um, an increase in the voltage on the resistor where the ohmic value increased and a decrease in the voltage on the other two components in this circuit. And you will notice as well, if you add up the three voltage drops, we still come up to applied voltage. And that is a fact for all those resistive circuits. You will always come up with applied voltage. So it's a good double check to see if maybe there was an error somewhere. All right, and that's it for changed values. The next video is going to cover arrow logic um, in series circuits. So I'll see you then.